What's up, sexy Scorpio gang? How are you guys doing? I hope this video finds you well. All right, I get to read for Scorpio next. I love reading for you guys. It's always fun to be in your energy. So yeah, I just did a, uh, a series of career and financial readings. Yeah, yours, your guys' was very unusual in that it was oddly specific. Um, so yeah, I, I do understand that those messages aren't going to be for everyone. So all I can say is, you know, that's sometimes how it goes. I hope the next, uh, I hope the next go around does resonate with more of you. But yeah, I, I have to have faith that the messages that I'm being asked to deliver are are resonating with with the larger population out there. So anyway, enough of that ramble. Welcome. Let's uh, let's settle in and see what messages we can get for your love and romantic life. If you're not interested in that, see you at the next one. Uh, as always, my general spiel here on YouTube: general messages is what I throw out for you guys. That means. Not everything I say will resonate with you. It's up to you to always be in the driver's seat of your own life, first and foremost, but only take away the messages that resonate, uh, that speak to you in some way, motivate you, inspire you, confirm what you needed or wanted to hear, or the opposite, which frequently happens, illuminate you to something new. All right, so everything else about this video that you are wondering or curious about will be written in that description box below. That will include the decks I'm using here today, as well as my social media channels. I am the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. Please do like, share, subscribe wherever you can, including on this video. Guys, I'm so close to hitting a personal goal. I'm trying to reach um, 2,000 subs. I started this channel a year ago in Aries season, so I'm trying to reach 200 subs, hopefully by end of April, but I'll take end of May, right? Trying to set small goals for myself here on my little my channel, my side hustle. So if you haven't already subscribed and would do that for me, that would be amazing, Scorpio. I would appreciate it. If not, I'm happy to have you on YouTube. Free general messages, right? Who doesn't like that? So hopefully some of these resonate with you. All right, Scorpio, two more cards and we'll hop in. Last thing I want to say, if you don't currently have a person, this could represent someone coming in that you haven't met yet. It could also represent potentially someone from your past. We'll, we'll see how the energies play out. But again, up to you to use your own discernment and discretion which messages you are going to take away today. All right, well, bottom of your deck, beautiful. Ooh, you have a lot that wanted to be seen. As I went to pick up bottom of the deck, a whole bunch of cards came up with it. So I'll show you just the first three. Oh, I got to show you the fourth, though. It's so good. So you have a new passionate or intense um, kinetic, I heard even creative relationship with someone. It could be someone you work with. It could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. You also have temperance coming up. So in terms of major arcana, you have Sagittarius, you have some Taurus, you have Pisces, and you have the star all coming up, and I will, I will get into that. But uh, uh, this, this to me says something, it's divinely guided, a, a match made in heaven, sort of. See how the cup is pouring one into the other? <clears throat> this isn't what this card always represents, but in your spread here today, Scorpio, it's representing like an angels or, or guides helping to usher in something new, right, with that ace. In, in terms of like a nice little partner, an, uh, a partnership, a nice little match, right? Something that is rich with both love, integrity, but also uh, sexuality, passion, right? Something, there's an intensity to this relationship for you, Scorpio. No, intense, never. No, but it's, it's very positive. It's as crazy and wacky and, you know, again, maybe sexually charged as it, as it is. There's also something very grounded about this. Uh, it, it's very like well rooted i heard the seeds have been sown properly so it could be that you've been doing a lot of spiritual work on yourself and yeah some of you may have had to recover from a, a major breakup or just something over the years that's sort of been um yeah sort of like a focus on your spiritual journey like your shortcomings or where you feel like you really needed to gain some sort of confidence or self-love whatever it is i think you guys are wrapping up that cycle in fact i think you've been doing a lot of um soul searching and healing for a long time and so <clears throat> with this What's so key here is that you've always kept that optimistic outlook. The sun will shine again, right? The dawning of a new day. Well, it's coming. If you've been waiting for it, I almost want to say, like, it's kind of here. This doesn't seem like you're going to have to wait much longer. Um, but anyway, yeah, for a lot of you, this, this is probably new love. Again, maybe with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but really beautiful energy right there. All right, so let's hop into your actual reading. We're going to start. Ooh, sorry if I jiggle the camera. I have a new setup here, and I don't like it. Just <laughs> FYI, it's driving me nuts. Anyway, moving on. Let's, uh, let's start reading for your cards first, then we'll hop into your person. So your overall energy presenting in this, uh, it's actually really cool. So Five of Swords, not the greatest energy. I think most of you kind of know, but the, the brief of that is sometimes it's being a very caught up in your head. Sometimes it's dealing with someone who's playing head games, or there's confusion. It's do I look back to the past? Do I move? 
move on? Where do I stand? Sometimes there's regrets, there's hurt feelings. Here, because it's presenting with uh, the Ace of Swords, I take this to mean you're getting out of like that clusterfuck of a headspace. You stop questioning every move you make or other people's intentions. You're like, Six of Swords. I'm moving on potentially to communicate with someone new, especially if that someone new is just getting out of a relationship. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's actually something you may be familiar with who this person is, though I don't think you've dated. It could be that the thing is, this is amazing energy because you both individually have been healing yourselves. You may have been on different spiritual journeys, but there was something very like parallel or something very similar of the two paths that you guys were essentially cutting for yourself. Yeah, and so this could be someone who either, <clears throat> I don't mean to always make it someone from your past, Scorpio. That's not my intention. I just want you to know that. It's not going to be for everyone. It could represent potentially a brand new Aquarius or Sagittarius coming in. If, if not that, there could be new communication with someone from your past, but this person in your past would have probably been spoken for. They probably were married at some point in time or... It was almost something that was never spoken between you, but you always intuitively, right? You water sign. You always felt like there was something there, but you couldn't quite put your finger on it. In terms of like a romantic spark, you have two aces. Beautiful. I think this represents communication between the two of you. This could also represent, <clears throat> excuse me, because there isn't a divine pairing here. This uh, pentacle king, right? And it, it could be a female as well. Sometimes that could be like the husband or, or the father or someone who's like committed. But here he, he or she is showing up single with new passion for a new love. So what I'm getting at is with this judgment coming up, there, this could be indicative of someone who's getting out of a relationship. If that's the case, I mean, I suppose this could represent the idea of going through like a really nasty divorce or having to wait a, or just being put through the ringer in terms of a relationship. <clears throat> I have to be honest, Scorpio, this feels more like your energy, particularly if you have strong Gemini in your chart. Your, your other person has had to do, I think your person chose to leave this relationship, if any of that makes sense. And, you know, FYI, you might not know their whole background story yet because it does feel like that kind of newness. Anyway, it's almost like they, this is just for this card and this spread. It's not the classic depiction of the star or the classic um, transcription, I should say. There's something about she's chosen to empty these cups herself. She recognized almost like eight of cups energy. What was once filling my cup, what was once emo emotionally fulfilling, I've healed myself after a tower moment, right? The star comes after the tower to the point where I don't need this other person as someone to lean on anymore because it's emotionally void. They Something about they just kept me hanging on throughout the years, hoping things were going to get better or hoping they would change. Your person's heading towards you. This is really cool. Yeah, for some reason, this is representing you, Scorpio. Oh, maybe you have Scorpio or uh, Sag in your chart. You could be a Scorp Sag Cusper. Even if you're not Scorpio, you've done healing work on yourself. And as I was saying, your paths are very much mirroring one another. You're very much in alignment. So where someone maybe had to hold back prior because they weren't able to make a real offer to you, I think Four of Pentacles, you know, they decide to release and, and make that sort of offer. Um, and it is like this matching card of what you have, which is just really, really cool. I like that. Um, yeah, really beautiful energy. Because, yeah, it's like they, this, this sounds so crude, but they ditch one cup for a new one, right? You know, you, you see the symbolism here? I mean, it's, it's really beautiful energy. You could definitely be dealing with a Pisces. You have three cards indicating Pisces or Piscean energy. Really kind of some, some watery energy. Sagittarius is a fire sign, but eh, it doesn't really matter so much about the zodiac signs. <clears throat> okay, let's hop into the rest of this. So as I was saying, your energy is presenting as intellectually in, in the mind. You're deciding to move on from something. That's your energy presenting in this spread. Moving on from the past, looking, to, looking again optimistically to the future, which I think a lot of you are, are quite skilled at now, but it wasn't always that way. That could have been a challenge. Maybe you very much lived your life in terms of looking back on the past, things that left you feeling, uh, things that felt unsettled or unresolved, you, you've kind of come to clarity about, it's not so much about things that didn't go right in the past, it's about fixing them in the future as I keep going down this path. Some of you may be interested or flirting with a Leo. So where your mind is at, <clears throat> 
I'm almost getting that you're receiving messages, Scorpio. You could be sending them off, you know, multiple messages potentially if you're interested in multiple people or multiple candidates or, you know, maybe you're doing a lot of swiping on the dating apps. This could indicate multiple people. There's something about these wands, though. Instead of flying up, they're landing. And because they're coming into your mental sector, I, I just heard you get bombarded with messages. So it could be one person who just really starts blowing up your phone. You know what's interesting? If this is a friend of yours from the past and they, maybe they reach out to you and they're expressing, oh, I've been through like a messy divorce or I'm no longer with, their, with my person. It's almost like they're messaging you over and over and over again because they want you to know their side of the story. So at first glance, this may seem like they're just using you to vent, but there's something more to it. It's something about they want you to know the history of what happened and maybe why they couldn't come forward before. Very interesting. Um, so in a sense, it's you may write it off as, oh, they're just using me as a sounding board. And, and you are a water sign, so right, you, you are very empathetic. You are very compassionate. You, you are probably the friend of this person who just sometimes just needs to lean on you for support, particularly a Sagittarius. But there's more than meets the eye here, and it, it is in your benefit. It's almost like you just need to be illuminated to whatever this person is offering you in terms of the pinnacle, it's, it's not just the solidity of like a friendship or this solid relationship. There's love and some sort of like magic to this offer that's being made, but I am getting it's sort of disguised or not disguised, convoluted by too many messages being sent off like one after the other. You know how like when you get a text and you, you yeah, no, you're not with your phone, right? Your phone is off. Some of you are like, no, I don't relate to this. If you're whatever at the gym or, you know, doing your whatevering and you come back and your phone has like nine missed messages from the same person, you're like, OK, holy shit, let me catch up. Like, what have I missed? Like, or especially if you're on a group chain, that's what this could be, too. Again, if you have like I, I just keep wanting to say like a friend from the past, I'm getting like my best friend's wedding vibes, something about that where it, it was like off limits, but something might become available again, something that you thought was closed off, some new I hesitate to say this, but some new like secret is revealed. It's not a bad secret. It's just something has been illuminated. That sun, that dawning of a new day that you're waiting for, I think that comes to fruition. Someone returns to the water sign, the water sign being you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like I called you Sagittarius earlier. Did I? If, if I didn't mean to, if I did, I apologize. It's because you have so much Sagittarian energy. Anyway, sorry, there, there are a lot of signs here. I apologize. Um, but anyway, it could be what I was getting out because it's the, the moon card. It could be a Pisces and a Scorpio that could be connecting because somewhere in your heart space, Scorpio, you're holding space for a Pisces or someone who's like a, a, a very much like a dreamer, someone who's a little bit out of touch with reality. They're probably very artistic or creative. And the side they present to you is very like lighthearted and beautiful, but I'm getting they, there's a world of pain that's been inside them for quite some time. So this could represent your person too. That That's what I think they start revealing to you. Something about they, yeah, it's like they want to map out for you their spiritual path of like where they've been. What's so interesting about this though is you, you're just coming to the conclusion of I'm no longer looking back on mistakes I've made of things that have happened in the past. You, you've come to terms with them. You, you're walking away with the lessons. And I do think it's humble. You're not like, I'm too good to you know, admit my faults. It's not that. There's just an ease about you know, living the now. Your person has this weird, uh, or not weird, that's not the right word, but they have almost like a, a fixation to share with you things of their past. And maybe it has to do with when they come in you know, they want you, <laughs> this is so funny, they want you to accept them like warts and all. It's almost like a confession. It's very unusual how this person comes in with all these messages, but it's because they want you to know. They want you to have insight into their, into their past, into their mistakes, into the fact that maybe they've always held love for you or, or you, again, if it's not romantic, that they've thought about you and always wanted to, to communicate with you. That could be potentially why you're in Five of Swords energy too because as much as you're trying to look to the future, something about this maybe, maybe forces you to look back on moments in the past and like, oh, is, like, did they always feel this way about me? Could be something like that. So in terms of the action, it's really funny. It, it, Ten of Pentacles is coming up in your action. A great card, not so much an action card to me. Sometimes this can represent the building of a family, but what's under it, and we haven't gotten to your person spread yet, but what's under it is the sword. I think there's a marriage that's being cut or severed to welcome in like a, a new tribe. It's like, 
something about this person wanting to map things out for you. Literally, it's almost being shown to me like with pentacles here. So I'm sure that's like symbolic of something, but there's something about they need to map something out for you because there's too much mystery or confusion regarding their past or where they've been or... If this is a brand new person, though I'm not sensing it is for a lot of you with judgment and the page of pentacles, but even if it is, it's also indicating to me this person may have a very dark past, particularly in terms of substance abuse. And I think they've recovered from it. I, I think, again, it's something they've definitely struggled with in the, <clears throat> sorry, in the past. But they wear their heart on their sleeve. This could absolutely be a Pisces. They come to you and they're like, hey, I'm interested, but just so you know, like I used to do math. It's something where you're just like, oh, uh, okay, well, this is, a, this is an interesting first date. They, it, almost to the point of oversharing. That's sort of what I mean with all these messages. I'm getting that they're from one person. It could also be a Sagittarius. And God, I love my Sagittarians so much. I think they're fantastic. But Sagittarians, if they're not oversharing, just things come out of their mouth that are just very blunt. They don't always think about the way they'll land. And with you, Scorpio, you're, again, you kind of intuitively and emotionally kind of pick apart things like that people are saying to you. And so that's what I mean. I'm not trying to say this for shock value, but there is an element of this, this deep, dark secret. They express it quite freely to you, but it's something kind of heavy, like, like, yeah, like I used to be addicted to this, or I used to do that, or I used to, you know, and the thing is, I think you have sort of, um, what was the word I used earlier that, that seemed appropriate? You can go through extremes, right? You're, you rule the house of like transitions, right? So yeah, something about a Scorpio, the idea of like the reinvention, this person has reinvented themselves. And I actually think there's something very beautiful about your energy. The way it's presenting is optimistically looking to the future and not living in the past. Whatever this person throws at you, again, there's such a compassionate nature to you that you're just like, okay, well, you know, the past is the past. Like, you know, let's try this. Aces, new beginnings. Like, you seem very willing to accept them into your tribe and into your family. This could potentially be someone you work with or will work with or, or I mean, again, very long distant in the future, maybe build a family with. I don't think you're taking much, much action on this. If anything, again, they're coming in like, yeah, they're coming in with verve and energy and passion. There, there's something they really want to express to you. In fact, I'm going to throw something on that. Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles, please. What is Ten of Pentacles about for Scorpio and the action card? It could indicate an outcome is that they, they view a relationship with you as a very rich opportunity. This is cute. Yeah, it does actually have to do with moving in together or a house and a home. Some of you may be looking for a, a place to live or something about... Like a the, like the bird house. Uh, some some of you may literally study birds or have like a fascination with the birds. That could be like a nickname if you called somebody birdie or or even Bert, Robert. I don't know. Whatever. It does have to do with nesting. It has to do with home materialization of like wealth and abundance and and there's such like a family mother child aspect to this. Something again about this. It's almost like a confession. I don't know why I'm being called to tell you this, Scorpio, but it's something about they, they view you as someone very spiritual. It's like almost like confessing your sins, but it's almost in a relation, or sorry, in a dynamic where like if, if a child does something like naughty and it's almost like they have to come like uh, to, to their parent and, and like confess to what they did. So maybe for some of you, this is like an ex that you had a child with or the opposite. It could have been someone who's coming from a, a broken marriage that has a child or I'm just getting, they, they want to move in with you. They want to nest with you. They want to invite you into their family. Maybe you know their family, this friend of a friend or you worked with their sister or some, something about money in the home has to do with the action they're taking towards you. I just heard they are not borrowing money from me. So don't like, it's not that message. I feel like I literally just picked up on someone's energy. Like they better not ask me for money. <laughs> They're not going to do that. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but I just feel like I heard one of you out there. Like it's my money. I'm not, it's my money. I'm not sharing it. <laughs> Scorpio. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's look at your person uh, a little bit closer, right? Um, I just heard that song. Come a little closer. What song is that? Roller Coaster by Bleachers. Do you guys know that song? Oh, it's such a good song. It's such a good dance song. Jackie Antonoff, look that song up. Uh, Roller Coaster. It's a, it's a great song. It's really kind of poppy and modern and fun. Anyway, 
Sorry guys, my camera froze. So looking at your person a little bit more, they are potentially spying on you, looking you up on social media, looking up old pictures of you, if that makes sense to anyone out there. Um, your ability to move on, your energy is sort of as on the brink from five of swords to the six, moving on from mental chaos or mental baggage, you do finally decide to release something and move optimistically to the future. What helps you in that transition is a new message from someone. Doesn't have to be a new person, but they're the one who's communicating. I, I keep getting that. They, they may send a letter to your house. They may send a package or I heard a paycheck to your house. So again, maybe this is someone you work with. I'm not totally sure what to do with that message, but it, it's nice. It, it doesn't feel icky or weird. Um, so in their mental sector, they're wanting to come in really fast. And here's the thing, I think they do. I, I don't think they use much discernment in the way they're sending you messages. In a way, the messages they send off to you are very kind of sloppy and like, like just slap together and it's not to say that they don't care it's the opposite they care so much they want to tell you everything it's it's almost like they just they dump their purse out on your table and you're seeing the collection of everything they've been holding on to for years and maybe that means something to some of you they've been collecting a lot of people in their life a lot of history a lot of past experiences and again it's like they're willing to show it to you uh, that expression warts and all right like oh and then there was this time i did that and then i'm so sorry i didn't mean to say that when i did five years ago and i got drunk at the christmas party and it's a little bit overwhelming they bombard you with messages but here's the thing i think you're kind of intrigued because there's a sense of mystery about this person that you're slowly learning more of and like i know you like a good mystery i know you're like you like a good detective like a good detective uh storyline and i feel like that's what this is something about the the closer you move towards the moon it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and you start to see things that you couldn't see before and for a lot of you, it does have to do with the love and affection that this person feels for you. But I'm almost getting like a gravitational pull of the tides where you guys pull back and forth at each other. I like almost like tugging at the heartstrings. So in their heart, what does this person want? If you have strong Scorpio in your chart, I'm sorry, obviously you have strong Scorpio. <laughs> Let me try that again. If you have strong Taurus in your chart, particularly if you have a uh, Venus or a, yeah, is that right? Taurus and Venus. Hold on. Let me try that again. Your Venus in Taurus? What am I, why am I trying, why am I struggling with this? And why is this important? If your Venus is in Taurus, this person loves you. It could also indicate that this person is a Taurus, but they also want marriage with you. I don't know why I'm so stuck on that. There's something important there, but I'm not quite, I'm not quite grasping it, sorry. Clarify, why is the hero fit coming up? Uh, there, so yeah, they, they see you as marriage material, like the wifey or the husband. Or they've always considered you to be six of pentacles. Oh yeah, they've always considered you as like, this sounds so harsh, Scorpio. Please, uh, I apologize in advance for the harshness of this message. They always considered you the plan B or the second option if something didn't work out. And here's the thing, it didn't. It didn't work out. Whatever path they went down, it ultimately did serve you both because here's why. You both had to grow individually. You had to both go on this spiritual journey, as we were saying. To come into like your, your highest vibrational self, that's when the orca or the sorry, the universe kind of orchestrates you guys coming together because there is a sense of soulmates here. Yeah, you you maybe this may involve a fire sign, an Aries Leo Sag, or that could be someone who is severing off from this relationship. Yeah, they see you as a beautiful counterpart. Again, like the pulling of the tides, the gravitational forces, there's reciprocity in this relationship. Um, yeah, they they see you as the one that they could potentially give give their life to. They, they want to build a life with and a home with and a family with, right? That's the action or what, that could even be what they vocalize to you, which again, kind of comes out of nowhere or it's too much all at once. There's absolutely the uh, potential for this to completely overwhelm you. Uh, so, you know, just heads up, right? So the action they're taking, they're, they're the king of swords. They're cutting off something that isn't serving them and they're coming in quite, um, what is a good word for it? Certain, there's certainty. And 
there's something about the maturity of their thoughts. Again, I'm being called to say Saggies. I don't mean to pick on my Sagittarians at all. There's a maturity of thought as the years progress or as the weeks progress with you. They do start to reveal to you this wasn't completely a haphazard message that they were just, I'm not really getting they're just looking to rebound. It's not that they've, they're growing into themselves from the page to the knight to the king. There's room for potential here and the communication gets better. It gets more efficient. You may originally sort of pull away or you know, almost like retracting your shell or something like that, retracting your home. Because these messages are just like, again, one after the other, boom, boom, boom. It seems very kind of like, you might even be worried about this person's like mental state. Like you, you may be thinking like they're having a mental breakdown, but it's just the opposite. They're just, they're having epiphanies and they're firing out all these messages because they need you to hear them and see them. You could be dealing with an Aquarius and I feel like Scorpio, you came up in the Aquarius reading. So there might be something to that, but yeah, their energy feels really nice. Um, let's throw some romance angels on it. Their action is communication, which is really great. I like that action. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's coming up kind of in your section. <clears throat> this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right. I'm, I'm happy to see that because I was sort of picking up on like, this doesn't feel brand new for most of you. Uh, and if it's if it is someone who you feel you've never met before, it could also indicate this is a past past life relationship. And this last one says, "Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It fell on your person. Don't worry, they will. They they absolutely will. They will times ten. Again, there's the potential for this to overwhelm you, but I think is if you decide to pursue this person or at least message back or communicate or visit. As, as you get to know this person more or open up more with them, you'll see that there is an authenticity. They are telling you the absolute truth. They're almost just sharing too much. They're being too upfront with the truth, but it is truth. It, it's something about it's, it's rock solid. It's, it's grounded energy, but it's almost like you don't want to reveal your hand of cards yet. Something about you, you sort of like the idea of a little bit of mystery about you. So you're not going to be as open and upfront with this person as they will be with you, but Again, that seems kind of scorpionic to me, right? That's, that's how you guys roll, right? Over time, it's like somebody has to gain your loyalty and trust, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Very optimistic, though, very positive. <clears throat> Signs that want to come out. Ooh, you had a whole bunch. All right, so bottom of your deck is Capricorn slash Scorpio, so you might be dealing with another Scorpio. Uh, Aquarius, Pisces. You did have a lot of Piscean energy. Uh, Libra, Taurus. Leo and Pisces again. So you have double Pisces. That might mean something, right? Could be there's an ex-Pisces and a new Pisces, something like that. Anyway, that's up for you to decide, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if any of this resonates. I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.